in this video we will learn about nick2 web server and web application vulnerability scanner tool which is which comes pre installed in kali linux machine so let's get started first of all let's check it uh, first of all check uh, its various options so as you can see these are the different uh, options we can use in nick2 command so you can take a look take a look at uh, these uh, uh, options here as you can see dash ssl forces ssl mode on port and you can update its database using this dash update command in nick2 it updated it updates the sirt.net uh, database which is a database of cv cves so the first command that i am going to show you is nick2 dash h suppose you want to scan an ip you want to scan a web application so all you have to do is type nick2 space dash s dash h which is stands for host and then http the name of the website when i to do dot one six eight dot one dot five in my case i'm i'm scanning a website which is running on my local host so that is why i'm using this ip address but in your case if you if you are uh, scanning a website then you will type the name of the website here so just press enter now the nick2 tool will uh, scan the website mentioned in the command it will take some time so you will have to wait so as you can see the nick2 tool has detected that http trace method is active suggesting the host is vulnerable to xst attack xst attack now just uh, wait for the nick2 to complete its uh, scanning so as you can see it has detected detected that uh, this reveals the apache information and it is also telling us the solution that we need to comment out the appropriate line in the apache.config file or restrict access to allowed resources so as you can see it has also detected that uh, the directory indexing is on default file found this is how nick2 works so if uh, one thing i would like to tell you if you haven't mentioned the port here then the default port it will use is port 80 so it has detected the uh, php my admin directory press enter so as you can see these are the vulnerabilities found by nick2 tool so you can take a look at these vulnerabilities you can copy this vulnerability and search this in google to find more information about this particular uh, vulnerability 
so the another command i am going to show you is let me first clear the terminal now the another command which i which i am going to show is suppose you are your your website is running on https then all you have to do is uh enter the name of the website and use this ssl parameter to scan the website so it uh, this parameter tells the nick2 tool that the the website is running on port for 443 so just press enter as you can see in the previous command the target port was 80 but in this case the target port is 443 which is for http which is for https you need to note down these commands and or you can simply remember these commands by practice by practicing these commands yourself because these commands are very simple to use you don't don't even need to note down these commands but just in case if you want to you can just uh, note down these commands on your notepad or any notebook it was uh, taking some time so uh, let me cancel this uh, whole processing as i have already shown you all the vulnerabilities present on this particular website so to to stop its processing i will use control c uh, let me yes okay so let me clear the terminal again the another command which i am going to show you is uh, they suppose you want to uh let me specifically mention the website here i am scanning utility utility website which is uh, running on my local host suppose you want to output the command in a file or oh, sorry you suppose you want to output result show and mention the name of the file so i will name it uh, uh target .txt and press enter so in this case i will let it complete its processing so that i can show you that uh, nick2 to tool has has uh, exported all these uh, results into this uh, target dot txt file so let it complete its processing as you can see it is very simple to use all you have to type is name of the tool dash h dash h which which is which stands for host and then it is uh, dash o which stands for output file and the name of the file so as you can see these are the vulnerabilities found by nick2 to tool as you can see it has found uh, another vulnerability which is rfi rfi stands for remote file inclusion if you want to uh, gather more information on these vulnerabilities you can just uh, copy this uh, code here and search it in the google to get more information on that particular vulnerability
as you can see it has found the admin panel Time taken by Nick2 to, to scan a website depends on the vulnerabilities found on a website. So Nick2 has completed its processing. I will type in and press enter. So as you can see, there is a uh, since we the our output file was by the name of target.txt. I will open this file. A mouse pad target.txt press enter and as you can see all the results have been exported into a txt file now you don't need to copy the content you don't need to copy the results of uh, nick2 tool from the terminal you can easily export the result into a txt file by just uh, using dash o parameter in the nick2 tool uh, command so this is how you can use it and uh, let me tell you one more thing let me clear the terminal uh, the target.txt we can also instead of uh, using a dot txt file we can also use an html file so I, this time i will name my file target dot html and i will include another i will have to mention another thing i will have to mention the format of this file so for this purpose i will use dash format and i will write htm so just press enter so this the, uh, this time the uh, result will be in the form of an uh, will be the results of this uh, uh, scanning will be exported into a HTML file. So let me show you. Uh, first, let it complete the scanning. The scanning. Nick2 is a very handy tool, so you must use this tool if you are into pen testing or retaming. So just wait. As you can see, these are the vulnerabilities found by Nick2 tool on in Mutility website. So this proves that uh, Nick2 is a very uh, useful web vulnerability scanner. So it has found the admin page. Let me type in and press enter. As you can see, there is another file 
by the name of target.html let me open this file by typing firefox target.html since it is an html file it is a html file so we will have to use firefox to open this file so as you can see these are the results of nick2 tool uh, scanning so this is how you can uh, export the results of nick2 tool into uh, html file so this is it has found uh, x forwarded x powered by header which gives this information that it is a php website and its version is 8.1.4 and the uh, vulnerability name is this you can copy this and search it in the google so that's all for this video see you in the next video